Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of the Precision Build series. Here we will be doing a RAM upgrade going from the original 12GB of system memory to 42GB of RAM with the riser board. Before getting started, it is important to note that there is a very specific memory configuration that must be followed for the T5500 when utilizing a riser board. Basically, you must install the largest RAM modules in the riser board first, followed by the next highest module in the first slot on the motherboard and then install the rest of your modules in the remaining slots. See the video description for further information. To get started, we will remove the first DIMM from slot 1 on the motherboard. Simply pull down on the tabs on each side until the module pops up, then simply lift the module up and out of place. We will now install our new module on the motherboard, which is an 8GB DDR3 ECC module at 1600MHz. We will line the slot up on the module with the slot on the motherboard. It can only go one way, so make sure that the module is lined up properly so you do not break anything. Then just slide the module into the slot, press down evenly on both sides until the white tabs click into place, and ensure that the module is secure. As you can see, we have an 8GB module in DIMM 1, and the others are all 2GB modules. The T5500 supports up to 9 8GB modules of RAM. If you had additional modules to install, the process is the same. Pull the tabs out on each side of the modules, and then remove each module one by one, like so. Then install the new modules the same way as the first one. Place each module into its slot, press down evenly, and make sure that the tabs lock into place. We will now install the other three 8GB RAM modules onto our riser board. For more information on the riser board, be sure to check out part 2 of our build series. Installing RAM onto the riser board is the same as installing it on the motherboard. Line the module up properly with the slot on the riser board, lower the module into place, and snap it into place. Repeat this procedure for the remaining two modules. We will then reconnect the memory cooling fan power supply and reconnect the memory cooling fan to the riser board like so. I just want to say one more word on the memory population rules for the T5500. As you can see, the largest modules are installed on the riser board first. In this case, three of the four 8GB modules we will be using. Then the remaining 8GB module is installed on the motherboard in slot 1, followed by the five 2GB modules. Then we will simply install the riser board into the computer and you are finished. 